So we have another piebald moose out here. What are the chances we'd find a second one? I mean, we just killed that one over on Layton, like, probably two and a half weeks ago. And now we have one out here on Yukon. But, actually... Just go ahead and take that where he's stopping. But, I mean... I'm pretty sure he's just overlooking at that score estimate. But even still, I mean, we have some of the large plaques that are still completely empty that I'd like to fill. And... Just weird to find, too, in that short of time span what kind of way is that for them to die i don't know if that's because they change it to where the antlers have like a proper hitbox and they can't like clip under the ground but that is a little bit of an odd one but yeah i mean i basically had no moose in the trophy lodge for a long time i had two actually on that kind of main wall in the entrance but they were some of the first things i killed and they were just like gold level fours that i got just kind of as placeholders but then in a matter of a couple of weeks, we have two rare ones. And again, I don't think this guy's going to stay forever. But, yeah, that's interesting. But even still, it's uh, kind of cool to actually run into another one. Because I just, I never could get any moose with the lodge. But that's not a bad looking silver. Like, he's got good looking antlers. Definitely one that I'll throw um, somewhere up in the trophy lodge. But, yeah, that's actually cool. Looks like just a good young moose. So, once again, we have a legendary line just kind of chilling out here, and I keep going to Verhunga multiplayer, kind of hoping to find, like, a big horns diamond cape buffalo, or a rare lion, or just, I guess, really anything, but what I keep finding are small horns diamond cape buffalo, and just normal legendary lions, but we're gonna scoot down here, I'm gonna try to heart shot him, because I do just have the 7 mil, usually when I hunt Verhunga, I do bring the bow, because of course I want to get that Bighorn's Diamond Cape Buffalo that I just mentioned with the bow if I ever find one. And that requires me to carry the 7 mil to have the other weapons I want, but we're kind of alerting him there. And I'm thinking what I might try to do is actually call him and get him to face me, because I'm not a huge fan of broadside hard shots, so that is not a caller. We're going to have to switch that out real quick. But yeah, I'm thinking if we hit this call, he'll probably turn towards us and give us a decent... Uh, heart shot opportunity. So let's see if he's actually gonna turn towards us. I think if I could unglitch my gun He is moving so maybe like that That is not a heart shot, but actually He's going down kind of fast So I think what probably happened is it's that weird Frontal double lung shot because their lungs get really close together at the front of their body, but I mean Definitely we're not going to lose the score on him, but not going to get the 1,000 session score that I kind of wanted to get. And it was that weird, like, frontal double lung you can get. And he's a small diamond. He's 48.8, which is definitely, I mean, for the weight, actually a high trophy rating. But nowhere near the biggest lion we shot. But, yeah, just kind of missed the heart there and got that weird frontal double lung. But as is the case with pretty much all the lions that we've shot recently... I don't really have room for that in the main trophy lodge. He'll go in that second trophy lodge when I eventually actually start it. I need to do that because we have a lot of stuff for it. Maybe that's something I'll actually work on fairly soon, but cool to get another diamond one. That looks melanistic. I'm almost sure that's melanistic. That looks incredibly dark. And it's actually big. Not huge, but it has to be, right? See, he's nervous, so I kind of don't want to lose him. Yeah, I don't want to mess that up either. That should be good. I swear there was something different about that one. We definitely got him. I think that's monistic. I don't know if I'm crazy, but... It looked it. There's a disturbed veg back in there that I hope is his. That's an elk. This should be his. Oh yeah! He is melanistic. I almost didn't even see it, because I guess I spooked it at some point. And he just happened to be walking out there. That's really cool! I've shot, I think, only one melanistic bull moose ever. It was about this size back with Legacy Racks. I didn't pay attention if he's gold. Like, he's max weight estimate, so he should be. Yeah. That's really cool. That's so cool. We're gonna have, a, I think, the same antlers. 
a piebald, and a melanistic in the lodge? It's been a really long time since I've had something like this. There's actually two level 3 turkeys out here. There's one that we spotted there, and the other is right there. So, I don't really have a good plan. I don't even have a bow or a shotgun on me. And even if I did, it's the end of their drink time. So, they're going to start moving here really shortly. You can see we're literally past the end of their time already. So, I think we're going to just try to get them with the 22. And I think they're kind of starting to move already. So, we'll probably try to get that guy first because... The other one's still chilling there. But he's starting to walk away, so... That's definitely within range. And of course, now he's gonna start trotting across there, so... There is an opening over here. And I'm hoping he's gonna cross into that. And maybe slow down. I mean... It's not that difficult to hit him with the 22. They're very slow moving, even as they're kind of like walking around. But I want to make sure... We can actually see him. That's the hen. That's him there. So once he kind of crosses behind that stuff, I think we'll go for that. We'll need to aim like two and a half uh, dots. That'll work. So I do want to keep him spotted because I lost a turkey down here once that I shot pretty much just like this. And I guess maybe it didn't leave tracks. I can't even remember. But he is going to drop right there. So we'll just go ahead and leave a waypoint because I expect something similar to happen with... Uh, wherever he is. That guy. He's probably going to go pretty far again, so... We'll see if we can just get him there. Just while he's not moving, and actually... Just hit him twice since he's actually not trying to move, but... He'll just kind of die over there, and it's still weird the way that that works, but... Kind of is what it is. But then, this will be the first home that we shot right at the waypoint. And I still haven't seen a troll turkey, so I expect both of these to make diamonds since they were level 3s. And yeah, right on 4.6, and I'd say he's a big 4.6 with the weight. But we almost missed him, that's literally like feathers on top of his back kind of thing. But yeah, um, I don't have a ton of room in the trophy lodge for turkeys either, we had that lion earlier this week. I don't know that I'm gonna, I'll probably just put them on like some of the big plaques as placeholders for now. But I probably won't keep them unless they're higher scoring. And I do want to check the score of that one we just shot in the lodge and see if he's maybe like 4.68, something like that. Just because he was as heavy as he was, I think he's probably closer to 4.7. But then our other one's right up here. For a second there, I thought that was melanistic, but I can see the lighter coloring at the top. I was pretty sure that they were both common. I took a decent look at them uh, before, but yeah. Definitely just a common and another 4.6 with actually a pretty low weight. Which, to be honest, makes me think even more. That light brown that we shot, uh, I forget what day, but sometime last week, that was just barely too small to be a diamond. I really think the weight it was, it could have made it, but that's actually cool. I haven't had two diamonds in the same group for a while. So this week was kind of interesting, and I just want to go ahead and show the score of that one turkey really quickly. He was 4.68, so there's a good chance that's one that stays in the trophy lodge somewhere. He'll replace one of the smaller 4.6s we have, but... For now, I just put them in there because I'll have to go through everything and see which one I want to actually replace. But we'll head back into the other room where everything else is. And the thing that I kind of wanted to talk about was by Friday morning, the only thing I had for like a highlights video was this little piebald moose. But then during the stream, we got the melanistic. And then I think it was all Friday night or maybe some of Saturday, we got these other diamonds. And it turned into a pretty interesting week. Like we got rares, we have diamonds, two diamonds in the same group. It, it was all really interesting, but yeah, um, the Melanistic is definitely my favorite from this week, a 216.9 gold, and I really hope someday there's a multi-mount, but I mentioned it being the same rack as the other piebald we have, which I did shoot this one before the stream, but of course on the stream I couldn't mention it because it wasn't actually in a video yet, but this is the one I was actually talking about. The same exact antlers, this guy's a little bit bigger at 222, and maybe at some point when we have like all of the large plaques filled, I'll move the one from the other room and replace this guy, because, again, I'm trying to do all gold rares or better, so good chance he gets replaced, but at least as a silver, he's actually a good-looking move, so I'm happy to have him in the lodge for now. But then we have the other diamond turkey, just the, I think, 4.62 for that one, so I'll eventually put something else there, and for the moment, I went ahead and threw our line in here, because this is the platform that the little albino pronghorn's been sitting on, and I want to eventually replace him, too, because he's not, like, an impressive enough rare to take up a full-body platform in my mind, so... 
eventually I want to get rid of that and I figured, at least for the trophy lodge portion of this video, we'd go ahead and throw the lion there, but if we keep that up, eventually we're going to find like a rare one or max score diamond or something, because we keep getting level 9 lions and I'd really love to get a rare diamond, because that would be amazing on that multi-mount out there, but anyway. I think that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, it ended up being pretty interesting. We had some rares, we had diamonds, the two diamonds in the same group. All in all, it actually ended up being a pretty interesting week. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.